Hi friends, what's so up? This is Dr. K from 360D. It's time to talk about the best tips and tricks to fix iPhone not showing up in iTunes and Windows PC. Whether you want to make a local backup on your PC or sync your device with a computer for an extra layer of security, iTunes comes into play. In most cases, the iDevice manager works reliably, allowing you to perform various tasks without any issues at all. However, there are certain situations where iTunes fails to even recognize your connected iPhone and making you wonder what has suddenly gone wrong or for that matter why the device is not showing up in the device manager. But bother not because I have jotted down some pretty handy tips and tricks to fix this annoying problem. That said, let's get started. To begin with, make sure that you have securely connected your iPhone to your Windows PC. Many a time, in trying to get through the tasks faster, we all tend to forget to check off the basics and end up either scratching our heads or cursing the system about why it has gone wrong all of a sudden. To avoid this very problem, disconnect the USB cable and plug it back in, making sure that your iPhone has been securely connected to the PC. Now bear in mind that fake or uncertified cable have a hit or miss track record with iTunes. Hence, if you're using an uncertified cable, it would be causing the problem. So try using a certified cable to check if iTunes has started to recognize your connected iPhone. Another essential thing that you should do without fail is to make sure that your Windows computer is running the latest version of iTunes. As we all know, outdated versions of apps are not just buggy, but also vulnerable to hacking. On top of all, they also slow down your computer and trigger overheating problems. Therefore, it would be helpful to check for an iTunes update and update the app beforehand. To get it on fire up, iTunes app on your PC and then hit the help menu at the top and then click on check for updates and if there is any update available go for it on many occasions iTunes doesn't kick in to show your iPhone with the app is already open. Well, it has happened to me a number of times, so I can confirm this frustrating problem. So quit iTunes and relaunch it after you have connected your iOS device to your computer. Know that iTunes might not be able to detect your iPhone if the device is locked. Thus, once you have connected your device to the computer, unlock it and then allow it to remain unlocked while you are trying to perform a related task. For added security, iOS asks for authentication and prompts you to trust the computer. So do not forget to trust your PC, otherwise you won't be allowed to proceed. When you get an alert on your connected iPhone, tap on Trust or Allow in the pop-up and then enter your device passcode. Next up, I would recommend you to force quit the iTunes app and then relaunch it. If the problem is due to a minor software glitch, it will let you fix it right away. To do so, press the Control plus Shift plus Escape keys at once to bring up the Task Manager and then select iTunes in the left sidebar and hit End Task in the top row of Options. Now you have to disconnect your iPhone from the computer and then reconnect the device to the computer. After that, launch the iTunes app and then check if the iPhone icon has started to show up in the app. Then I will recommend you to restart both your iPhone and computer. If the luck has continued to evade you, reboot both the devices. After all, Soft Reset has a knack for fixing annoying problems. On your iPhone, you have to press and hold the power button and the volume up button at once. Then drag the power off slider to shut down your iPhone. Now wait for a few seconds and then press the power button to reboot your device. On your Windows computer, click on the Start menu and then hit the power icon. Then choose the Restart option to reboot your computer. Next up, I would recommend you to make sure that iTunes is not down or faced with any problem. To find out the exact iTunes status, open a browser on your computer and then head over to Apple System website and then ensure that iTunes is live and kicking without any issues. Then I will suggest you to uninstall and install the iTunes app. When an ill-functioning app doesn't stop throwing up tantrums, a fresh installation often works wonders in bringing it back on track. To get it done, click on the Start menu on your Windows computer. After that, you have to choose the Settings app. Then select Apps option in the left sidebar. 
then choose installed apps in the list of apps installed on your computer find itunes then click on the triple dot icon right next to it after that choose uninstall in the menu and then confirm the action then open the microsoft store app and then reinstall the itunes app on your computer then I would suggest you to update both your iPhone and computer. There is a decent chance that a malicious Windows bug could be behind this annoying problem. So updating the devices could help you get rid of the problem. On your computer, click on the Start menu. Then select the Settings app. Then choose Windows Update. And after that, download and install the latest version of Windows. And on your iPhone, head over to the Settings app. Then select General, and after that choose Software Update, and finally download and install the latest version of iOS, and that's pretty much it. So these are the best tips and tricks to fix iPhone not showing up in iTunes on Windows PC. Hopefully you have gotten the better of the problem, and your device has started to show up in iTunes as usual. If you found this video helpful, do like and share it, and I'll see you in the next video with more such handy tips and tricks. Till then, stay safe and have a good time. Bye-bye.